welcome to fashionhustler.com video number 10 today we will be talking about the pencil tool and its similarity to the paintbrush tool let's go to Adobe Illustrator CS5 now the pencil tool located under the paintbrush tool can be accessed by pushing N on your keyboard let's click it now let's backtrack really quick you remember if we push B for the paintbrush tool and we or we select it in the tool, toolbar and we click and drag the mouse that we would get these uh, let's get the regular brush okay um, let's just use this one for right now okay now remember we would click and draw whatever we wanted to to create an image right now the pencil tool is very similar it creates a line of points connected together according to wherever you draw it and much like the paintbrush tool we can change the line quality just like we did in the paintbrush tool okay we can change the thickness let me get it back to the right way. We can change the thickness on here. Let's give it some thickness on the stroke. Okay, it works just like the paintbrush tool. Okay, now if we click and hold down on the pencil tool, we'll notice an uh, a tab comes out and we can tear off this tab okay now we have our own little tab of just the pencil tools let's get the selection tool and get rid of the lines that we don't want and click delete on the keyboard okay we're just going to use this one now remember we have our bounding box so we can click and hold shift to stretch it out Okay, now you still see these anchor points throughout the stroke. Now let's cover some of the other tools. Besides the pencil tool, the one next to it is called the smooth tool. Now look at all these points that we have here to create this line. If I click and go across the line where those anchor points are, the smooth tool will remove the extra anchor points, keep the same shape but with less anchor points involved. So it smooths it out, it gives you less anchor points and a smoother image overall without all the jagged edges. Okay. And you can continue to keep doing it until you get the shape and the smoothness that you want. Just click and drag over your anchor points and you'll notice that it begins to change. Now the tool next to it is called the path eraser tool. When we click on this. Now let's see what happens when we select the line with the path eraser tool. Look at that. It erased wherever the selected line that we click and drag over and it deletes it okay command Z to undo to go back a few steps previous to where you were okay now let's say we just want to remove this part right here boom gone okay click and erase just the parts that you want to get rid of so that is pretty much it for today pencil tool smooth tool path eraser tool they work very similar to the paintbrush tool with a few extra options and
that's it okay remember guys pencil tool click and drag create the image that you want let's see if I can write my my name human really quick in the graffiti style remember we click down here double click it for our fill color click OK no not giving it to us that's odd some reason not giving it to us. Oh, there we go. Okay, double click it again. And we have our fill, we have our stroke. And if you double click the pencil tool, it will give you the same options that you have from the paintbrush tool. Okay, so let's command Z that. Let's double click the pencil tool option. Let's deselect the box that says keep selected. Okay, we can play around with the fidelity and the smoothness like we did in the previous video. Okay, now when I click and I drag the mouse to write a letter, let's deselect the H. And now let's try it so that way it doesn't affect the area that we were drawing previously. Oh, it's too smooth. So let's go back, double click the pencil tool, get our pencil tool options. Let's put it in the middle somewhere. Okay, for right now, let's do keep selected. Let's draw this letter again. There we go, let's give it a fill. Let's go back down here. Okay, now remember, let's not. Let's not draw the next piece of artwork over the one that's selected, or it will affect the one that's selected. Okay, go back, fill it up, and we could just keep doing this. Okay, just to give you an idea. All right, there we go. Okay, and click the selection tool to deselect and this is just playing around with the pencil tool try it out on your computer see how you feel about it remember we can select the stroke and we can change it with the group selection tool okay Let's change the line quality here for the stroke you can have a lot of fun with this obviously this looks like crap but you'll do your own style of artwork and it'll look good okay and on to the next video peace